Hey coders, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Amit, and today in this video, I am gonna show you how you can generate SHA key, SHA key one and SHA key two fifty six in your Flutter project, which will be used in Android Studio. And this SHA key will be used. Will you will need this when you want to implement authentication firewise authentication authentication. In your project, in your Flutter project. So let's get started. So first, first of all, go to your app. Uh, I just remember that there should be a project written for it. So here you can click the app um, builder gradle or project builder gradle. Just click on it, and here you can see there is an open for Android editing in Android Studio. You can click on it, and new window. Uh, when you will do it, just take some seconds. Depend your PC, depend your RAM, processor. It will take a uh, lot of time if you are using a old processor. This building. You can stay a few seconds and here you can see at the top right corner there is a written gradle when you click on it it will show some text some options uh, when it will be completed anything will model and it will show there are the things which we will need So as here it's finished, uh, and you can see, uh, I will show you again here uh, this builder gradle. Uh, just click on here right right corner. You no need to do anything with these files, or just click on gradle at the right corner. You will find at the right corner top. So here you can see there is an Android and there is a task option. Uh, sorry. When you click on it, you will see tasks and again Android builder. Yeah, this click on Android. And when you click on Android, you see there is a option signing report. But just uh, click double click on it and at the bottom you can see user key SHA and SHA 256 key. You can see there is a many more uh, SHA key, but you need only this key this type of at the last you will find your keys so here it is and you can just copy and paste this key remember that you don't have to copy the space uh, at the prefix at the suffix you have to pay you have to copy e to b you can see that i am doing like this so and if you are using this first time you can see there will be no task option in your uh, android in your gradle so when you click on here it will show to create a uh, tasks so when you click on it just go to files after that go to files and just click on sync project with gradle files and when you will do this you will find this task option again in your project so thanks so much guys for watching this if you learn anything from this video then click on this video like the video and subscribe for more videos like this in future thanks so much